Welcome and thank you for watching the Ask Chiss Neighborhood Edition Quick Tutorials. In a previous video, we focused on accessing the application and running your first query. In this video and a subsequent video, we'll focus on building a community profile. So how does my community look like in terms of the variety of indicators that Ask Chiss Neighborhood Edition provides? The value of a system like AskChissNE comes from both the ability to create a targeted query, so if I already know which indicator and in, in which location I'm interested in, I can very quickly pull up that information. But it also comes from the ability to explore the data. How does my zip code compare to a neighboring zip code? How does it compare to a combination of zip codes or to a county? And we can do all of that um, in AskChissNE. So let's get started. Notice that I already have an indicator loaded in my table. It's the ever diagnosed with diabetes for the 18 plus population in 2014. And it looks like about 8.8% of adults in California were estimated to have ever been diagnosed with diabetes in 2014 out of a total of 28.5 million adults. From here, I can do one of two things. I can add more indicators to my table by using the left hand navigation bar, or I can add a location or multiple locations by clicking on the plus location button in the upper left hand corner of my table. Let's start by adding some indicators. Let's look at ob obesity and overweight. We'll click on the obese overweight topic, click on 2014, and I can see all the different indicators available. So we have some adult uh, indicators for obesity by uh, race and ethnicity and by gender, as well as some overweight and obese estimates uh, for uh, the child and teen population. Let's focus on adults today. We'll add the Latino obesity as, uh, indicator. And let's also add obesity in females, obesity in males, and obesity among non-Hispanic whites. So I now have estimates at the state level for all of the different indicators that I'm interested in. Let's also take a look at adding some locations. I'll click on the location button. And for today's demo, I've chosen the city of Commerce. This is a city located in the Southern California region of Los Angeles County. Ask Just Neighborhood Edition provides you with access to all of the zip codes and, and cities within California, so the City of Commerce is just for demo purposes. We'll search for Commerce. It returns the City of Commerce. We'll click on that uh, and we'll click on Create Table. And you'll notice that my table now includes estimates for both the State of California as well as the City of Commerce. Let's add some more locations. I'll add 90040. This is a zip code either within or around the City of Commerce. We'll also add 90640. And let's also take a look at the county, so Los Angeles. Notice that the system returns multiple results and we'll click on Los Angeles County. I've now reached the maximum of five geographic entities that I can compare. Um, if I wanted to change them or, or switch them, I can click on this X button. Uh, for, this, uh, for this demo, we'll just take a look at these five. I'll click on Create Table. From here, I can use the table to influence the different data visualization tools that AskChissAny provides. You'll notice that the table is mostly shaded in white. However, there is a, a cell that is, in this case, shaded in green. We call this the active cell, and this is what we use uh, to change the visualizations within the system. Um, so right now, it's under the Los Angeles County heading. Notice that both the county heading as well as the cell is highlighted in green, and we're in the obese and non-Hispanic white row. The bar chart now provides me with estimates for obesity for all of the geographic locations that I have selected, and the map provides all of the different counties. Because we're, we're in the county level, I have Los Angeles County centered. This is the county that I'm interested in. Um, but I'm able to look at all of the different counties within California uh, for this particular indicator. If I wanted to look at, let's say, a specific zip code, I can click on the same indicator, obesity among non-Hispanic whites, for 90640. The bar chart will remain unchanged because I still have the same indicator loaded. However, the map will now provide me with um, a map of all the different zip codes within California and with 90640 centered. Um, so I'm able to now compare the zip code with neighboring zip codes or with any zip code within California. Let's say I'm interested in looking at ever diagnosed with diabetes within the city of commerce. I can click on that active cell. Notice that the bar chart is now updated. Um, to provide me with uh, estimates of, of diabetes among the different locations that I have selected. And the map has now updated as well 
to provide me with estimates of diabetes across all of the cities uh, within California with the City of Commerce centered. Notice that the table contains some empty cells, and they are signified by the letters NA. For some indicators and geographic locations, estimates are not available either due to very small populations or due to an, uh, to an indicator being unstable. You can combat this by combining multiple locations, and we'll go over this in part two. So note that even if you can't get an estimate for a specific zip code, you can combine multiple locations to get a very granular estimate. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at askchis at ucla.edu.